This next one is honestly a great disc that's a great complement to the zone. If you have a zone, um, I would honestly recommend this next disc. So most disc golfers have two different types of putters in their bag. They have first the ones that they use for putting, and then they also have the ones that they use for throwing. And they'll use the throwing ones for just about anything. They'll throw it off of the tee, they'll use them for approaches, and even use them to get out of trouble in the woods. So there are a lot of different molds that people choose to use as their throwing putters. I'm going to be talking about four of my favorites that are really great and what they can be used for and why people would like to throw them rather than putt with them. So the first disc I'm gonna be talking about was a little bit more popular when Paul used to play for Innova, but now that, since he switched to Discraft, it's not as popular, and that disc is the Nova. The Nova is a great throwing putter. This thing just flies dead straight. It'll hold whatever line you put it on. If you throw it on a hyzer, it'll go hyzer, and hyzer will hold that, and it'll just go dead straight if you throw it flat. The great thing about the Nova as well is for beginners, it's one of the best discs you can have because it doesn't hide your flaws. If you throw this poorly, it's gonna do exactly what you, what you're, what you do with it. Um, out of all the putters, this is one of the harder ones to throw because it doesn't hide your flaws at all. But that's, that's why I think it's great. If you can drive off the tee with a Nova clean, then you, you've got some pretty good form and you can drive with just about anything off the tee. And the best thing about it is this, it's got this rubber rim. So the rim is like it's different material than the plate and it's a little bit like a soft rubbery material. And that really sticks to the ground when on your approaches so it doesn't really bounce or skip too far anywhere. The next one is one of my favorites, or it is my favorite of this bunch probably because it's been in my bag the longest, and that's the Discraft Zone. The Zone is just a staple in, it's almost in every Discraft player's bag, and it's in just about any other people's bag. If they have a mixed bag, a lot of people throw the Zone because there's just really not much out there like it. So the zone is great. It's really fast for a putter. It feels really, it almost feels like a mid-range in the hand. That's why a lot of people argue that it's a mid-range, but it is a putter. It's really fast. It does not really glide at all. And it just holds that dead straight line, doesn't turn for you at all, and then gives you a good fade at the end. It's great for forehands. It's got a nice, most of them are flat or puddle top. This crystal one is puddle top and it just it forehands beautifully it's basically like a putter firebird type disc it's just, it's just awesome i've had this exact one in my bag since about 2011 2012 when i bought it and it's still overstable and fights the winds enough whenever there's a really strong wind this thing is is my approach disc that, that's all i approach with this is this is awesome i, I don't know what i'd do without it this next one is honestly a great disc that's a great complement to the zone. If you have a zone, um, I would honestly recommend this next disc for that um, to complement it well. And that is the Envy. So this is a funny disc because I honestly, before the whole James Conrad throw, I would almost have put this in the category of one of the most underrated discs on the market. But ever since John, James, <laughs> John's, James Conrad's throw, the popularity of these has just gone through the roof and everyone's just like, oh, that's too mainstream now. Well, this is a great disc. It was already an amazing disc. James Conrad just like, he brought awareness to a great disc. Why I say it's a good compliment to the zone, it is, it has more glide than the zone and it's not as overstable as the zone. So this one's definitely, it says it's a 3-3, negative 1-2. I would almost say it's 3302 or 0, 02.5. Um, so you can rip on this flat and it's not really gonna turn for you at all. And then it'll fade for you, but not as much as the zone. But the reason I think it saves a compliment is the profile, if you look at the profile, it's basically like a mini zone in the hand. Like it looks like a zone, it feels like a zone. It's just smaller diameter, and for the people who complain that the zone is too much like a mid-range, this one is feels like what the zone should be if it were more of a putter. That's what I would say the NV feels like. But the NV is great for forehands as well. It just doesn't, like for example, for short approaches, I can 
forehand and ante the zone and it's gonna come back and hook and still even like finish right and skip right. This one, not so much. If you forehand this on an ante, it's pretty much gonna hold the ante. It might come out and go flat, but it'll pretty much go out of the ante. So it's not as overstable, but it does glide more. It's just as fast, I think, out of the hands. And so it it just goes, it goes further than the zone because it's a little less stable and it has a little more glide. Honestly, I think you'd be set if you had a zone in the bag and then just cycle some envies and that would be amazing. It would be a great, great combo. Last but not least, it's not necessarily a specific mold, but I would just say just a premium plastic putter. I have this Luna that's been in my bag for this past season or two just because I've been throwing Lunas and it's just great. This is just really fast and stable. It won't turn on you um, if you throw it properly. So the premium plastic Lunas, I would say is a little bit more stable than the Nova, but it's similar in the sense that it does not hide your flaws at all. It's almost just as touchy as the Nova in terms of if you screw up the throw, then um, it's gonna just turn over for you. But if you throw it properly, this thing flies pretty stable. It flies fast, it goes far. It's awesome. They just feel really nice in the hand. They almost feel like a mid-range in the hand and they, and it leaves your hand like that. It's It leaves your hand pretty fast. But yeah, a lot of people like to get a premium plastic putter that is the same as their putting putters, mainly because one, it lasts longer, but two, the premium plastic putters are usually generally um, more stable than the um, base plastic versions of them. So for my putting putters, this, this fly is more stable than a base plastic Luna. And um, so yeah, that's my list of four great throwing putters that aren't used for putting at all. Tell me in the comments, what are your favorite throwing putters? I know there's different things so people can swap things out that can, that work as like a Nova or a Zone for them or an Envy. Um, what is that for you? What do you guys throw? So let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. What our favorite putters are for throwing. So see you in the next one.